few directors have exploded onto the scene like Guy Ritchie. Movies like Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch had an energy to them that was almost infectious, single-handedly spurring my unhealthy fascination with the UK's criminal underbelly. Well, Guy Ritchie's career may have hit a few bumps in the last two decades, my interest in London's fast-talking gangsters never waned. Perhaps that's why I was excited to play Filthy Lucre, the brand new multiplayer stealth title from Fabric Games. You play one of eight thieves who has been hired to pull off a series of high-profile heists. These aren't simple convenience stores you're knocking over, but sprawling locations with countless guards and security cameras. It's a risky situation, with the possibility of a big payday at the end. This promising premise is presented as an overhead stealth game. It's the type of thing where our thieves spend most of the time crouched behind objects waiting for the coast to clear. You'll need to knock out guards, turn off security systems, and locate valuable objects without causing too much chaos. If you can do all that, you'll discover that each heist location is loaded with expensive treats to pick up. It won't take long to discover that our thief is doing more than simply stealing rare paintings and blueprints. We'll also be tasked with hiding tracking devices in cars, snatching politically sensitive intel before it gets into the wrong hands, and even poisoning a grow lab or two. Each stage will also have a few secondary objectives that force the player to search through every room and hunt for secrets. The goal is to grab as much money as possible, complete the primary task, and get out before getting caught. Ideally, you'll be able to do this without even being noticed. However, sometimes the guards will get nosy and discover the bodies you've been leaving around. When, in a pinch, filthy lucre turns into a fast-paced dual-stick shooter, but going in as an action hero is a foolish game, since you're limited with ammo and it's only a matter of time before the police arrive. The game is really pushing you to play slow and steady, taking out guards only when you have an opportunity. When it all goes well, filthy lucre is almost intoxicating. I felt powerful as I snuck through the levels avoiding detection, a ghost inside the walls observing everybody's routine. There are a few things more satisfying than knocking everybody out before they even realize there's an intruder in their midst. But this powerful feeling will disappear completely the moment you're noticed by a guard or security camera. It's easy and disappointingly common to get into a deadly firefight after 15 or 20 minutes of perfect stealth action. This sends you right back to the beginning of the stage, losing a substantial amount of progress. This is a game that was clearly designed with multiplayer in mind. With its limited view and massive levels, Filthy Lucre wants you to work as a team. This is great when you have a friend by your side, but playing this as a single player game can be incredibly rough. The biggest issue is the lack of checkpointing, which means you're going to have to restart the whole level every time you die. I can certainly understand this decision in a two player match, but this game never felt balanced for a solo player. Unfortunately, there are some things we can't blame on the multiplayer focus. The stealth action is surprisingly shallow, especially if you've played other recent games in the genre. Apart from the weapons you bring along, you're limited to walking up behind guards and knocking them out. We'll be able to use radios, TVs, and other objects scattered around the level to distract enemies, but you still have to walk up behind them and knock them out. You can't even move their bodies, creating a whole lot of issues when nosy guards poke around. It doesn't help that the graphics look just as dated as the gameplay. The overhead perspective is pulled out so far that the characters are small and you can barely tell what they're picking up. It also doesn't allow you to rotate the cameras or change perspective, which led to a lot of obstructed views at inopportune moments. Even with the solid premise, it's the execution that hampers filthy lucre. I think part of the problem involves the missed opportunities. They set up a fascinating underground crime world, yet do almost nothing with it. We don't learn much about the characters, and you won't find any of that snappy dialogue I liked so much in those early Guy Ritchie films. I also wish the developers had given us more exciting locations to explore. We get the scrapyards, waterworks, high-rise, mansion, and bank, but they all start to blend together after a while. I suspect a lot of this stems from repetitive gameplay and the brain-dead guards. To Filthy Lucre's credit, they do some interesting things with the multiplayer mode. 
For example, if one of the players gets captured, the other will need to make a choice whether to leave a man behind and go it alone, or go back and get them. There are pros and cons both ways, making it a tough choice. Sadly, there's nothing like that in the standard single player mode, so a lot of that tension is lost when you go solo. While it's certainly more fun with another person, Filthy Lucre still isn't deep enough to keep you engaged for long. The lack of variety ultimately forces players to simply repeat the same types of attacks every time, which quickly grows tiring. I love the setting and premise, but was disappointed that the game didn't do more with them. Filthy Lucre is occasionally fun, but it's a whole lot closer to swept away than lock stock and two smoking barrels. Hey, thanks for watching our review. This is yet another game that comes close, but doesn't quite hit the mark. I have similar feelings about some of the other titles coming this week, so be on the lookout for a whole host of reviews. I'm also hard at work on a bunch of big features debuting in the near future, and I still need to update you on the progress of the adventures of GamePro. Needless to say, I have a lot to cover, so I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then,